as I'm stuck at home with everything going on with the virus, I've made a Taylor 101 Basics using some of my old footage. There's two parts to the video. The first part's estuary fishing, second part is beach casting. For each part, I'll run through the different rods, reels, lures, knots, lines and leaders that I use. In part one, we've got the lighter estuary set up. Of course, you want to up your gear if you're going for some of the big river monsters. With the rods, I typically use either my 2 to 4 kilo uh, 7 foot rod or I've got a 3 to 6 um, 7 foot rod as well. Anywhere from that sort of 6.5 to 8 foot rod is fine. You need to have a graphite rod. It doesn't have to be really expensive, but um, graphite is much better than any glass tip. If you're new to fishing, just above the handle of your rod, you'll see the weight class listed on there. Sometimes you also have recommended lure casting weights. When it comes to reels, any sort of reel from the two to 4,000 mark is fine. I tend to use either my Stratic 2500 or I've got a 3000 Nasky, which I think works really well. Braid from 4 to 15 is usually pretty good. Uh, fluoro leader, you probably want 8 plus. Um, make sure you learn how to use a good knot to join them. A double uni knot is a good place to start if you're new to fishing. There's a step-by-step -step guide on fishing.org. Now we're on to lures. One of the more cheaper and effective lures is the Halco Twisty. It actually originated from WA2. If you're just going for choppers, which is a smaller size tailor, anywhere from the 10 to 30 grams is fine. If you want to go for a big monster, you need a bigger lure. This one was caught on a 10 gram Halco Twisty. Often overlooked is the Halco Streaker. This is an absolute gun for uh, choppers in the uh, estuary system. I tend to like single hooks anyway, but they're also a lot better for catch and release. You'll see on these next clips how easy it is to let them go as opposed to a treble. Another gun lure is the Savage Gear Missile. I like the white flash or the pilchard colour best. When you're looking for places to go, think about river mouths, look for places where there's fleeing bait, maybe some surface splashes sand spits or other areas where bait will congregate. Dusk and dawn is pretty reliable, but you can catch fish all during the day. You just gotta really think about where they'll be. Soft plastics are also fantastic for uh, Taylor in the estuary system. You will lose a lot of them from them getting bitten right off. Um, but they really work. I'll probably make a separate video for them down the track. Hey!
After you've mastered using metal lures, there's some great stick baits that you can use. A bit more pricey, but produces really well. This one I like to tow behind the kayak. This is an absolute cracker. From the beach, I either use my 8 foot rod or I use my 10 foot uh, Shimano Katana. It's a 4 to 7 kilogram rod, both graphite, so you can get maximum casting distance. Off the beach, I usually have a 3 to 5,000 reel. You can start from 12 pound braid, I usually have 15. Um, I use 20 pound leader most of the time. If there's lots of rocks, you might go up to 40. This is my most productive lure, Sure Catch Night 40 gram. The uh, Bishop's also really good too. As opposed from going down the river, when you go into the beach you probably have to do a bit more research. I always check the tide, particularly the wind direction because that would determine which rod I take and how heavy the lures are and also the swell. I have different areas that I'll target depending on the tide. For example if it's a low tide, some of my go-to spots might be a little bit too shallow around the rocky areas. You often find Taylor around reefy structure. Also, stand on top of the dunes and have a look for gutters. Again, the Halco Twisty. Just beef up the weight, and I also like to put on a 3 0 hook. I've had some good luck with the gold twisties when it's overcast. This last lure is an absolute cracker of a stick bait. Very easy lure to use. After you cast it out, just rip it in quite quickly and just give it a rip upwards or sideways probably every four or five seconds. Yeah. Some of my other favourite lures are the X-Rap Longcast, Spanier Raiders for their price, Muscle Shot, a bit more expensive, richer sea iron, you can absolutely launch a mile. Thanks for watching the video. We've been stuck at home uh, with everything going on at the moment. I'm probably going to make a few more videos for some of the other species. So please subscribe and uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed.